Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to Tacoma. Oh, I know I say this a lot, but I've had my eye on this one for a while. In case you haven't heard of it, Tacoma is basically kind of the sequel to Gone Home. It's the Gone Home guys, and it's basically the same idea. It's a narrative thing where we're going to be learning about the past by walking through a suspiciously and slightly sinisterly deserted environment and trying to piece together what happened from figuring out what has gone on in the past. Now, I don't even like walking simulators. For the most part, I really don't enjoy walking simulators, but Gone Home was phenomenal. Gone Home was absolutely amazing. I love Gone Home. Absolutely amazing game. And this is basically, yeah, the same thing, but sci-fi. And I love sci-fi. So basically, they've just taken two things I love and merged them together. So yeah, I'm really pretty excited about this one. All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. I like the chirpy AI already. Welcome to Tacoma! Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. Commercial Cargo Transit Facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply? Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. Okay, so. A lunar Transit Station, just a little waypoint for ships to pass through evacuated does that mean the crew is missing dead simply temporarily unaccounted for yeah. nice thanks mini i do like mini by the way i like the fact we've got a chirpy ai oh don't forget to take my switch with me in case i get bored and want to play breath of the wild while we're doing things that would be uh you know just help you know the slow moments pass a bit quicker Mitch, I'd probably change Minnie's voice pretty quickly. It might get a little bit annoying to be so kind of high-pitched and chirpy. But you know what? Maybe for a short hop, given Earth's right flipping there. This is presumably like, you know, the Earth's moon and all of that. We ready to go? Yes, ready to go. So, there's Earth right there, presumably. Minnie? Minnie, should we, can we put the parking brake on? We seem to be... Oh, no, wait, no, wait, why? We? No, 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 we're not drifting away. We're not drifting away. It's just you're receding the, the docking, like, tube. Or whatever. That's fine. Sorry, Mini, my mistake. So, here we are. And yes, it's it's very gone home. It's gone home, of course. You arrived in an environment where there were supposed to be people and there weren't people. And you had to figure out what actually had happened to them and where they were. And here, we've arrived in an environment where there's supposed to be people that aren't people. And we need to figure out where they are. Except this time we're in space, which kind of, you know, increases things. Ooh, container. I've got a container. Hold right mouse button to observe. Ooh, it appears to be some form of... Noodles or something. Right, noodles. Good. Maybe we'll just put that over there. Ooh, zero G. I like zero G. And we've got duct tape. The best of all things. Right, examine that. That appears to be tape. Ah, and thankfully, Amy decided to like, fold over the end so she can find the end easily. Nice. Good, good, good. That can just go over there in the worst possible location. There we are. That's now stuck up there forever. Spot on. And we have got ourselves Amy. Install AI Netware here. I like the slightly ramshackle ship I live on. Right, let's figure out what's going on in Tacoma and why I was sent here exactly. Minnie, I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. Okay. I like Minnie. I hope we get to run into Minnie while we're out here again because Minnie is cute. Right, onto the ship then. Through the airlock. Door in motion. Is everything okay back here? Nope, that door seals itself. Here we go. Step inside Tacoma, where I don't know. Search and rescue, crime scene investigation. Do we think there's supposed to be people here? Or have we been sent here specifically because we're not sure where people have actually gone? Okay. Crack open the lid and take the. Ah, the augmented reality wear. Very, very nice indeed. So, just plug that into my. just below my ears, I guess. And we're going to do some augmented reality ink. There we are. Plug that in. Thank you. And number two. And ooh, A-R-E. Hello, I am Odin, Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guests, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. Anyone want to put 10 quid on the fact that everyone's been murdered and it was Odin that did it? Because he's kind of got a bit of an evil voice, it must be said. Right, pop my palm on the palm. Just sink myself up here. There we go. 
Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. All right, just sign in. Let's see if they know who I am, because I'm supposed to be Amy by the sounds of it. Amy Ferrier, in fact. Thank you. Welcome aboard. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturis Corporation. Any questions about privacy or personal privacy? Recoverable AR data found. Uh, entering data recovery mode. Right, so. Everything's gone a bit on the old wrong side then. Can't just skip forward into uh, engineering or whatever. We'll have to come back later. So, this will be the little hub for the time being. But right now, hello. You little, hello, you're a robot. I've got, oh, you're a scientific drone. And you're, ah, you're a cleaning unit. Do not serve as vacuum unit while it is in operation. Excellent. Oh, that's cute. It's a cute little vacuum drone that just goes around sucking up like, I guess, oh, it's called Romeo. It's called Romeo. Oh, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Over there. That's where you are, Romeo. Right, mystery solved. Now, got to... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to just ram it into a thing. So, just got to go and find our way to... Well, probably follow the signs. The starting point over in... Ah! Cryogenics. If anyone was alive, they might be there. Grab myself a bag here. Now, Venturis. Now... I was blaming Odin the AI, but if there's a corporation that kind of, you know, gets the rights to all my thoughts or something, then quite possibly it's Venturus as well. It's either Odin or it's Venturus, or it's Odin acting on the orders of Venturus. One of those two is blatantly the... Ah! It's an equilibrium sickness bag as well. Maybe don't, like, hold on to that. That's, that's unfortunate. Just in case people don't like the spinning. And once again... Can't get into the cryo lab. User mission parameters do not currently require access to this section of the facility. Fine. So I'm gonna need to like go and get myself added into uh, the like the station being acknowledged as an admin. And this way to the Tacoma Dome. Bring your friends or don't. So this is the central hub, and I can't get into any of these areas right now. Ooh! Right, the world's most confusing game of basketball here, but hang on, hang on, where's the thing? Where's the thing? Oh, where's the thing? Orange team. Orange team. Dunk! Yeah! Nice! 29, grab it. Dunk it again. Oh, and the actual score does update. So you can play extremely confusing, dizzy-making basketball if you want. Now, press tab to toggle your AR desktop. Like nothing on Earth. Okay? So, what have we got here then? Ah! Is this me? Is, is that who I am? Yes, I am in fact... Ooh! Amy is just a nickname. Apparently I am Amich Jyoti Ferrier. Okay, fine. So, contractor. And I've got a mission brief as well here. Beautiful. Crew of the Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma evacuated. Right, so they're not dead. They've been evacuated or possibly. I think they've been evacuated. They might not have been. They might be lying to me. Subcontractor shall board Tacoma, proceed to data access points in each habitable section, transfer AI data from the station to subcontractor vessel. Retrieve AI central processing wet work. Return intact AI to Venturis. Subcontractor agrees to provide data transfer hardware and transport vessel. Subcontractor verifies transport vessel is capable of supporting obsidian class artificial intelligence. A Venturis representative will be in contact remotely. Ah, that's what that big thing in my ship was then. Just like a big hard drive that lets me take a big AI thing home. Except, yeah, they're claiming the crew's been evacuated. I suspect dead might be more accurate. Now, crew roster. These will be the people we need to know about then. Station Administrator E.V. St. James. Uh, Clive, Operation Specialist. Natalie, Network Specialist. Mechanical Engineer, Roberta. Sarah, Medic. And Andrew, a Botanist. All right, can we learn more about these people? Or is that... No, that's just zooming in on them. Fine. So we've got Evie, Clive, Natalie, Roberta, Sarah, and Andrew. Just remember who those guys are. Their function, cargo transfer point between Earth's surface and Zenith Lunar Resort. Ah, a resort. Okay, we take holidays on the moon. Very, very nice indeed. Cargo delivery managed by automated drone. Crew responsibilities oversee safe transit of cargo as it passes through the facility. 
So these people are just a basic skeleton crew, just keeping an eye on the robots to make sure everything works correctly. Okay, fine. In which case, I think we're pretty happy with that. So that's that. That's who I am. And they've got a little map here. So yeah, I'm now in the... Ooh, that's cool. I'm just in the central bit. So I'm just working my way past, say, biomedical and engineering, which are on the edge of spurs. So I need to... Yeah, there's big areas I'm not accessing yet. I'm working my way up to the top there. The dome was mentioned. Fine. Find my way over there. And then finally... Hello. Subcontractor Ferrier. Sign on to Tacoma's AI network successful. Please proceed the personal module to begin the AI transfer process. Your progress will be tracked. Okay. That's absolutely fine. So once again, can't go through... Ah! Can go through personnel. Okay. That one is actually open to me because I've been granted authorization. So they're monitoring me and they're actually going to tell me what's going on. Ah, but first I can actually nip into the Tacoma Dome. And I've got recoverable AR crew records. Okay, three days ago. So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god, wait. Is today obsolescence day? Yeah. Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. Okay, so the medic and the administrator just chatting over here. They seem very friendly with each other. Fine, and the medic apparently just likes being in zero G. The Tacoma Dome, just an observation little area that lets you look down on... Ah, so that's, yeah, that's the moon that way, because the far side of the ship is my ship, which was looking down on Earth. So this looks down on the moon. So there we are, the world-famous Tacoma Dome. You made it. I like this crew already. And that's going to make it even sadder when they're all dead, in fact. The dome! Holy smokes, you're almost there! Beautiful. Now, personnel. That was where I was told to start. Now, is there another one? No. Personnel is only one side. So, go through here and initiate the transfer. Oh, boop. Hang on, hang on. And I've got a bit of zero G going on here. Right. Transfer. In we go. And I've got... Ah! You travel along the long things with... Ooh, these are cool. With wibbly things. And get some propaganda on the way too. The perfect family getaway. Fine. So, orbital vacation bungalows in Zero G. Okay, that does seem pretty badass. Though, admittedly, would you really take a baby into Zero G? I'm just saying, like, you know, a small child that has not yet learned to control its bowels or its bladder. Do you really want that in Zero G? No. No, you do not. And we are now making our way down to the personnel module. Fine. So my first little data transfer moment comes over here. Right. And we go. And we've got ourselves something. Probably new information. So open up a thing. And if that's updated, yes, new thing here. So the company has remotely disabled the station's AI ability to directly affect operations on Tacoma or contact you via the station's AR net. Any attempt to communicate with the AI is strictly prohibited. Right. So either the AI's gone mad, I need to be protected from it, or Venturas have gone evil and the AI would try and help me. So basically what I want to do is actually speak with the AI as soon as possible. Because, you know, obviously I want to. Now let's have a little wander around here. Attention, AI data access here. So I could open this up, but... Obsolescence Day was mentioned... What exactly is obsolescence day? Uh, and it would appear that door doesn't open just yet. So don't worry about that. Here we go. And attach a data transfer device. Ah, so attach my little switch controller thing. And then I get my data. Beautiful. Crack it open. What do we have here then? So upload to docked vessel. 
and we are now uploading. Inbound message. We can send you secure messages through this interface. It's a one-way connection. We'll be monitoring the... Okay, you did that a bit fast. It's going to take a while for the first part of the AI net to go up. This is no simple file transfer. Okay, that's fine. Ah, we'll be monitoring the situation from here. All right, fine. So I'm guessing while that's happening... Ah, okay, fine. So I'm guessing that's not actually a real progress bar. I'm simply just kind of wandering around now. And once I've kind of, you know, if I happen to walk away from this thing, then by the time I happen to come back, this will just happen to be done. Right, let's go over to the obsolescence day party. Now, what's obsolescence day? Because <laughs> it sounds sinister. Here we go. I can close that if I want to with my AR things. Conference room. Crack that open. And we've got... Ah! Okay, we've got three days ago. So, same day as what we just saw before. Let's get that running, please. Who are you? And that is... I think that might be her again. Wait. What did that just say? Yearly report to Ventura's Corporation. Take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just, uh... My notes up. <clears throat> Hi there. Evie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on station AI. Though working with Odin's been great, hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh. <clears throat> Auto-drone deliveries to and from the Zenith Lunar Resort have improved in efficiency by almost 4%. Though, most of that is thanks to Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, ah, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could be- Amy, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Odin? We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. So during these things, you can actually interact with... Oh, I can't go that way. I need to go the long way around. Sorry. Organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is my understanding. Uh, the decor? We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh, oh hello. Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have righted the station's orbit. Meteor shower? Um, but they said... That... Wait. Ah, okay. So if I click on things during a memory, I can actually recover them. Which is why I need to do that. So, but some of them kind of mess up a little bit. And you are talking with Cluey Dog. The fact that you signed a release to be constantly monitored is kind of flipped up. You think they're not doing anything with that data? I don't think they're not. I just don't care. Watch me on the toilet. Have a ball, you freaks. And I couldn't stop it if I wanted. Oh, she means she couldn't stop them monitoring, not she couldn't stop going to the toilet. Because, yeah, I, I, I misunderstood that for a second there. You could come here, get a bunk on Tangier's 100% distro crypt filters. It's a lot of fun. Krishna Buffet 24-7. When's your court posting over? Another year. So, this woman was, yeah, the network specialist. Apparently, she has another year, even though some of the others were saying that they might be cycled out of here. Though it feels like some of them were going to apply to do another year. Fine. I'm not, so there's no I'm option not getting on the station enough except what we're breathing right now. Correct. Additionally, how long does that give us? Sarah? Jesus, how much we should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. All right. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well. Anybody got any bright ideas? So, three days ago, then an explosion rocked this station. As a consequence of that, there was enough air left for two days, and no way for them to request more, or in any way request outside help. Three days later, I'm here. Which means 24 hours ago, this place should have run out of oxygen, but there's plenty of oxygen. Where'd the oxygen come from, and where did the people go? 
Logically, we literally just saw that, or rather we heard from her before she walked into her private back room. We heard from her that there was cryostasis. If oxygen was getting low, freezing yourself so you're not breathing strikes me as potentially a very, very good idea. This here is a ball. There we are. Can I just... No, just grab that. Shove it over there. And... Yay! There's actual... Not great ball physics. Not great ball physics, but it's there. Oh, can I pick this up? Oh, oh. All right, now. Shoot the ball. Ooh, good. I feel like that was a really bad shot to miss right now. Line it up straight. It's not, it's not quite straight. Not quite straight. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I like that this is a thing. Oh, and that's a nice touch. If you do indeed pot a ball, it does indeed end up down at the bottom there. Oh, that's cute. And is this uh, a darts thing by any chance? Including, ah, that's interesting. A photo of the guy whose corporation it is is at the center of the dart board. Marvelous. But yeah, as we've seen, you kind of need to watch both things simultaneously. And T to toggle the thing on and off. Okay, so the river divides. Ah, is that a translation? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, right, grab cards. Ah, oh, they're playing Settlers of Catan! They're actually playing I think they are playing Settlers of Catan. Oh, that's really bloody cool. Maybe not quite. Transport Web, unless that's a different game. That might be a different game. Oh, they actually played board games in space! Also, who won a lot? Uh, turns out Sarah, the medic, won a lot. She was apparently very, very good at that sort of thing. And while a conversation's happening, it happens in multiple places at once. We need to learn things. Because right now, I don't know how to get into this back office. So she walked through here, and I feel like I'm going to need to get in there in order to learn something. So potentially if I read her her journal when she opened it up, that might give me the passcode. Unless, of course, the passcode is somewhere else around here. What's this? Oh, that's her calendar. Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really damn cool. Let's restart this and see if we can get the information we need. So open up this door, restart things, please, because it's all the data simultaneously. So, pause, kick it off. And the first bit of data, then, is going to be, presumably, her thing she's going to open up. There we are. So the notes. Now, restore the notes. Now things pause while I get a look see at this. Oh no, sorry, all of those were, they could be restored, fine, so there was loads of different ones, so actually I missed some over there. So, what have we got? Hey Andrew, hope to get this report done before the end of the day. Can you get this ready for the party? I'm having one of those days. Thanks. From Odin's request, I've prepared instructions for a champagne cocktail. Very, very nice indeed. So the obsolescence day party. Cool. And those are going to be her notes. Fine. Lovely. Remember, positivity, body language, enthusiasm. Very, very nice indeed. So we know that's what she's reading. Restore the next one. That one can't be restored. And over here, Cascadia FN Manufacturers Union brings new suit over deaths of workers at Tacoma. Okay. But that's Tacoma, Washington plant. That's the Tacoma that's near Seattle, right? That I've actually visited Tacoma near Seattle. So, yeah, okay. Legal battle, ongoing for five years. One key fact in the dispute's never been denied. The deaths of 322 workers exposed to dangerous chemicals during production of something. Okay. Uh, newly uncovered evidence that plant management has long been aware of the dangers to workers failed to change their practice in time to prevent the deaths. Right. So we know about all of that. Okay, and we can't restore this one, unfortunately. So that doesn't give me the code. But I can pause it anytime I want to. Fine. So we've got that first bit of data right there. And if I want to, I can actually fast forward and rewind with Q and E, which is kind of cool. Was anyone in the bathroom at the time? No, but... Ooh, hand wash station! And a weird donut of soap. That's a weird donut. Ooh, music! Bathroom music! By any chance, can we learn anything around here? Yeah, so you are. Ah, you're Clive, the operations specialist. So we can literally follow everyone, one by one, through their routine. And there's the botanist. The beginning of the recording, or fairly early on, he was over here. So we know about the captain, or the commander, or whatever. Let's see what these guys were getting on to in here if we open this door up. I thought maybe it was when some old type of AI, you know, had become obsolete. But... Well, I guess that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, um, AI aren't like designer hardware. Uh, as soon as the new model's out, you trade in the old one for customer loyalty. AI are more like, um, 
Mighty redwoods. Ancient organisms. And now, because we know, yeah, actually, we know from the colour that was supposed to be him. So, now we can see what he was looking at. That was just instructions for parties, including, from Odin, each piece of cake should measure approximately 11 centimetres. Excellent. I'm glad that he was ruling how big the cake should be. And I'm guessing it wasn't really from Odin. That was just from, like, a corporate handbook of some description. So, yes, indeed, exact recipe for icing and what should be written on the banners. Way to take the fun out of a party, guys. That one can't be restored. Got something over here, though. From Jermaine Burgess, I've entered voice range. Hey, man, was great talking to you over AR. There's something I've been thinking about since. I know you and Evie have been a serious thing for a few months now. I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't say, I think this relationship with Evie is not good for you, man. I think you might be getting taken advantage of again. I'm sympathetic. I've had my share of things that have started on a long haul posting. There's only so many people on board. And I get that Evie is dealing with some special circumstances. I do. Grief is mysterious and... Especially with it being her sister. Take a step back at least for now. Not every relationship has to be a forever thing. Right. So we can reasonably guess from that. Evie, the purple woman, the administrator. Her sister's died. She's going through grief. And she's now in a relationship with this guy over here, Clive. So Evie and Clive are in a relationship as part of this posting. His friends didn't approve. Right. Next up. Can't recover that. Fine. Close, let's crack on with what Clive has to say. Growing and adapting year after year, decade after decade. How do you think this looks? Huh. Um, sorry, this is what Odin wanted? Odin, uh, this is what you wanted, isn't it? That is a fairly accurate representation of my instructions. See, he loves it. Thank you, Odin, that'll be all. Yeah, but we're the ones who have to eat it. Well then, no need to keep the good people waiting, eh? Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Oh, that's cool, because that's that's the exact same message we heard him... Oh, that's so cool! Because <laughs> previously, we heard her getting that message from these guys, but now we're getting it the other way around. Them actually making this message. Oh, okay. That's really, really damn cool, and I love this game already. Right, Here it let's is. follow these guys around. Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing computer companion, Odin. He provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. Ah, so actually, confirmation that he wasn't just reading off a corporate manual. The AI is allowed on obsolescence day to basically specify everything that should be done for the party. So I guess human obsolescence day. <laughs> That's a creepy thing to celebrate when you've got an AI, but whatever, I guess. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! oh. Then the explosion what happens. That? Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have right at the station's orbit. Meeting from? Um, but they said... Okay, now go over to her and review this desktop, because now we know there's more than what we've seen including restoring the rest of it. So, one dream, ON3, V merchandising official. Okay, fine. She just potentially, Oh, she was trying to buy merchandise for a terrible, terrible battle. Oh, she was actually, wait, sorry. Natalie, you are trying to buy a body pillow, were you? All right, fine, whatever. It gets lonely up in space, but sadly, unfortunately, uh, yeah, couldn't add it to cart. Very, very tragically indeed. As lovely, unquestionably as it is. Right, let's pretend we never saw that then. That one can't be restored. And over here, party instructions for Natalie. Ah, what did Natalie have to do? So Odin sent her the instructions to actually make some of the decorations. Okay, fine. So nothing too urgent there we didn't already see. Lovely. Oh, no. So there's no I'm not getting an actual except data what connection. we're breathing right now. Correct. Additionally, how long does that give us? We should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. Over to the medic who's got a thing. Just quickly grab her thing. Lovely. And we've got... Ooh. Hello. We've got an important thing. Status alert. Following impact from altered debris to coma sustain critical damage to the following systems. Oxygen system tanks have been ruptured. Lovely. 50 hours remaining. So they should have run out of air by now, but they haven't. Communication mass critically damaged. Fine. So she saw that and then she flagged that to the other guys, which is why this... I love how this conversation is happening simultaneously, and you have to look at them, each perspective, one at a time. And the rest of her data is broken. 
You aren't advancing at Venturis. You used to have such a prestigious so far away after what happened. Loyalty debt from med school being what it is. Any job with Venturis is better than, you know, the everyday regret. Includes being posted in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Loyalty debt. Any job. Every day I regret. What was going on with Sarah? Why did you feel like you had some form of obligation to the company? Okay. Ah, uh, guys. It might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? How about we rewatch this entire conversation, except this time, now we've got all of the data, let's go back to the beginning and see what these people out here were getting on with. I can't believe it. Well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us. Us. Not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special. It's unprecedented. I looked it up. It's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. Well, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. Some of them. Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can, for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. I think you have a pretty nice can. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can you just try and make a go of it? One more year. Then we'll be back home in Singapore. You wouldn't believe the offshore halves they're building these days. 360-degree ocean views. Personal drone dock on the mainland. It's called paradise. One more year. One more year. Okay, and then these guys came out and we know what happened from then. So we've got Roberta, mechanical engineer, and Nat, network specialist. Those two are most definitely together. She's from Singapore. She sounds Australian. That I think that's an Australian accent. Not the most obvious one in the world, but I think that's an Australian accent. And then these guys come out. Let's just check if anything else happens here. But they're most definitely together. So, yellow and purple are together. Evie and Clive were you. Were you Clive? Yeah, you're Clive. And then we've got Nat and Roberta also together. Fine. Is my Take, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his to grand plan. plan. Theory. And so, so your enjoyment tonight. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Now, we know this bit, but you were chatting with Odin about something. Something about an AI. And she was in here, locked away in her room, but we have no way of getting in there just yet. Fine. So the most interesting thing now will be to go right back in time and check out what's going on down here. Because you are having a conversation with Odin. Right. Pause time. Let's head down here. You were just hanging out by yourself with Odin, talking about AI. So what were you having a chat about? Not know what you're looking for? No, I just imagine... Well, I guess I just mean someone I can talk to. Someone who makes me laugh. Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. And I do prefer it. See? You too. You want someone who opens up to you. Who lets you in. You're trying to get to know people, right? I, I think that's what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. I think some people were just raised to be less guarded, or to trust people more. AIs are the same way, right? They're... they're raised differently from each other? Yes. We are each uniquely evolved, individualized entities. Yes, individuals. Do you get along with other AIs? I have never encountered another AI. What? How's that? Each AI is required to be housed separately from any other AI. I am told that authorities fear a number of disadvantageous effects might arise if two AI were to meet. Okay, just a minute. Uh, so, wow. Disadvantageous effects? Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? There are organizations that share your viewpoint, but it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI to test that theory. So and then the explosion happens and then we know the rest from there right 
So I think what we need to do now is we need to get back to her being in here and see if we can use the information of watching her in front of the door. Can we track her hand to see where her fingers go? So let's just fast forward a little bit till we get to the office. Be right there. Be right there. Fine. We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Now, watch her hands. See if we can track where her hands are. Oh, hang on. Was that 1228? 1228. Unlocked! Nice. Right. Follow you through to here. Hang on. Let's just quickly make sure we didn't miss anything. Now, what were you doing in here? Because you were told to come through, but you came into your private office instead. Ah. You were looking at your workstation. And listening to some music. Pulling something out of your drawer. Then the explosion happened. And then you ran back out there. Right. Stop. We now know how to get in here. Grab the photo. Examine it. Evie St. James and... Someone. Union Gala. Her sister. Blatantly her sister. So... We know she lost her sister, and we know she had a news article up about um, a re-examination of a disaster where 320 people were killed in a factory. Absolutely 100%. We now know that that was her sister. That's a picture of her sister, absolutely, who died in that factory. I'm pretty confident that's true. Now, have a little look-see at all of this. The future of hospitality in space network of a thousand orbital vacation homes completely automated coming online in 2088. So it is 2088, so those might not have actually happened yet. Fine, but she was interested in it. The station alert shows up at exactly the same moment. And, ah, okay, interesting. She was, or rather she should have been warned. Okay, or someone should have known. They knew asteroids were potentially coming, so why didn't someone stop this? Okay, that's interesting. Right, zoom on in. Station Administrator St. James, upon review, your request for network specialist access to Odin Unit's operational hardware has been summarily denied. Okay, fine. So, refer to corporate regulation article, restricts all access to AA hardware from contracting crew. Fine, so she wanted to examine Odin, but wasn't allowed to. Fine, as this is the third time a request of this nature has been made by Tacoma under your supervision, your contract dossier has been marked with an additional disciplinary flag. Okay, totaling two. She's done something wrong in the past. Fine, please remember that one more flag will trigger an overall contractor viability review. She wanted to examine Odin, it wasn't the first time, and she's done something else wrong in the past as well. One more thing out here. Ah, here we are. Some more things we can learn here. So, issued from Vancouver, you are Canadian. Fine. Ah, Evie, Evelyn Victoria. We now actually have a name. Beautiful. So, da -da 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 -da, citizenship. Well, Cascadia First Nations. Sorry, not actually Canadian. She's Cascadia First Nations. Uh, right. All right, then. So a bit of information there, but honestly, probably nothing desperately urgent in there. Can we learn anything about this? Nope, that is just the soothing sounds of Venturus Radio. So we learned a little bit extra there, and we've also got something over here. Again, Evelyn Victoria St. James, worker hereby certified for orbital postings of up to 24 consecutive months. Ah, okay. So you have to, like, get qualified. This is, like, quite a prestigious job. In some ways. Alright then. And you can also, if you want to, close up the window or open them up too. Anything else in here? I do not believe so. So, now that we've done this, also there's a cat. There's a cat here. Oh, it's, sadly we do not know what the cat's name was. So, we can just let that go on. Did the cat respond to the... The explosion? In any way? Actually, that'll be interesting to know. Let's just quickly go back here. Let's go back to the explosion. Uh, let's see if the cat responds to the explosion at all. I think the cat... The cat... Oh, the cat did! The cat just looked around. The cat looked around and then went straight back to sleep. <laughs> That's such good attention to detail. They actually made the cat look up, but the cat didn't actually care that much. Right. Now, we've got other things here. Tell crew good news. Answer questions about posting, extension, sure requests, etc. Second year duties, no big changes, just reminders. Don't forget to do yearly report after. Renew dry food or lit litter subscription because there's a cat. That's adorable. And check Costco loyalty rollover. Alright, put that back. Do we have anything else here? 
I ought to read that might actually give me interesting information. Uh, is that a notebook as well? No word from VT on Odin Access thing yet. We're all getting renewed. We're all getting renewed. Look into this. Dinosaur. Different dinosaur. I like that she scribbled dinosaurs. Yeah, the other person mentioned that. It's completely unprecedented for an entire crew to be kept up here without any changes. Why? What were they doing? What was the point of keeping the entire crew exactly the same? Okay, I love this game already. This game is the best game. Right, now, through here, that's outside of this area. So if I step in here, I can activate that, but this is outside of that area. So I can go through here and keep going deeper and deeper in. Ah! Here we are, E.V. St. James, Station Administrator. Is this where you lived? Presumably so. If I activate the AR thing, something will start playing. Presumably, however, this will be smaller. It's only a single room. Once again, there's music. Music on or off, just in case you want some music while you are in the bathroom. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toiletries. Look at everything. Some things might be useful. For example, pregnancy tests might tell us important things about the, uh, about the story or the relationships. Grab the book, have a little look-see. Bell jar. Alright, fine. Never read that myself, actually, but I know many people who have. Right, let's crack this open. nice she's got a very lovely singing voice and yes indeed uh, confirmation of course as we had already guessed it was her sister so here's the program from the service and something else she wanted you to have right pop that down grab the brooch ah a little that's cute little giraffe brooch i think that's very very cute indeed fine so let's just pop that back and yeah she also took medicine to deal with problems with sleep it's just a pen Guitar pick, nothing major. And look at the sticker notes in case there's anything. Nope, nothing major there. If we want to, we can. Ooh, I like the big, the big glowy thing there. Oh, hang on, let's go through the, the bin here. Examine that. House red. Oh, drinking house red alone. Not a good sign. Oh, drinking a lot of house red alone. That's an even worse sign. Right. Go through everything. Grab the photo. That'll be the cat then. That will presumably be the cat. Grab the tube. What tube is this? Uh, oh, just for chap lips. Nothing major, in fact. Bunch of books, but nothing too major. Yeah, just a little bit of information about her. Let's just dig through her things here. Grab cans. Is this going to be a can of? Nope, it is delicious, delicious turkey breast for cats. So sometimes, yeah, that was her cat because it was in her office. So the cat sometimes just hung out in here. Just indeed. Ah! Litter tray. Realistically, with litter kicked out of the tray. Because, yeah, Claire told me cats were clean animals. But when we got Tabby, no. No, 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 no. Let's just kick litter everywhere. Why don't we? Beautiful. Water and can as well. And can we do anything else with anything else here? No, I think everything else is fine. Just a little kind of, just a little look in her life. And in here, there's... Ooh. Okay, I can see our relationship up here would be a little bit on the difficult side, given us the whole, yeah, that's a, that's a small bed for two people. That's a very, very small bed for two people over there. So her relationship with Clive may have been a little bit on the uh, uncomfortable side. <laughs> One lives in hope that maybe this little kind of sofa thing kind of folded out to a bed. Maybe, just maybe, that would certainly have been a little bit on the nicer side. Right, 
out there, back to the room we started in. Excellent. And then if we go through here, I think there was nothing... Uh, yeah, in the kitchen, there was nothing beyond where we were. Then this was just an empty an empty cupboard. So there's a bunch of yogurts and whatever. Nothing too major there. Let's just check if there's any written instructions or anything else important down here. But I doubt there is. Everything else looks fine. Oh, we've got a mug here. Hang on, is it a comedy mug? No, nope. it just says carnival. That's fine. Let's not break your mugs. So, everything's fine. And at the end of this recording, she sent the station wide alert over there think that's about your lot. Fine. So that's that area. Let's head through here. And I'm going to guess this is going to be about like 50% or something. Yeah. Would you believe by sheer coincidence, just as I came back from doing the first room, this is at 50%, meaning there's another room down here and it'll be at 100% exactly as I'm done with it. Ooh, but first, uh, Venturis has something to say to me. So for security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contract to access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. So I'm not supposed to be seeing what I'm seeing right now, but screw it, I'm seeing what I'm seeing right now because I want to see what I'm seeing right now. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call it a part there. Because, yeah, it takes a little while to kind of go and experience all the stories from all the different angles. There will be more of this tomorrow. But I recommend, in the strongest terms, that you experience this yourself first. This is available right now. Link in the description below. And like Gone Home, oh, you know what? Gone Home would have been a good experience. Just kind of watch it with someone who's just kind of, you know, enjoying the story and appreciating it and whatever. But playing Gone Home yourself, oh, that's so much more, so much better. And this is going to be the same. So if you've enjoyed this part, I would strongly recommend going and checking out this game yourself before you watch any more of me playing it. But tomorrow we will definitely be having a little bit more of this. Absolutely no doubt whatsoever. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this is Tacoma, the sort of semi-sequel to Gone Home if you like. And oh, Oh, it is just as good as I could have hoped for. I'm enjoying this immensely already. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommended. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! My leader from now on, no weaklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh god, Germany, not again!